Here's Victoria and Anthony with an AMI This Week Shortcut. Victoria, when you visit an alley, what do you expect? An alley? It sounds like a dingy place that my guide dog and I would avoid, and we'd probably also be avoiding delivery trucks. Yeah, but what if I told you that there's a couple alleyways that have been transformed into fun, inviting places to be? Places where you could literally go and spend an evening. Fun and entertaining alley. Are you leading me on a wild goose chase again? No, no, I'm serious. Actually, I'm talking about our friends from the West Coast. The Downtown Vancouver Business Improvement Association was inspired to make two Vancouver alleyways more inviting. Grant Hardy got to check out one of them in the city's busy entertainment district. The idea for Phil was just to make a very inclusive piece that allowed to people to play, people to congregate, to break the ice with strangers. Field, an interactive audiovisual art installation, is the brainchild of Alex Baim, an internationally renowned Vancouver artist. But his latest work isn't on display in a gallery. Instead, it's found in one of downtown Vancouver's alleyways, known as Ackery's Alley, and is always open to the public. It's a light and sound um, installation. Uh, there's 35 lights that are pointing down from this uh, overpass. Uh, each light has kind of like a narrow beam that touches the ground and you can see a circle of light. But when you walk under it, that circle of light grows. We have a sensor um, attached to each one of these lights that controls the light itself. Also take that information and make it into sound. So we play all these sounds as you move around. Um, and the idea of using music and using light uh, and kind of using your whole body to experience it is something that makes people feel free and alive and uh, it's a bit of a surprise and that's kind of like what we, we, we try to do and I think we accomplish. Alex worked with architect Melissa Higgs from HCMA Architecture and Design, the firm that was charged with the alley's makeover. I think for this alleyway in particular, we looked at its adjacency to the Orpheum and we kind of really tried to play on the idea that as it was part of the entertainment district, um, the idea of the red carpet and the, some of the materials, there's a sort of a gold material, so there's like gilt, gilded materials to kind of amp up the idea of glamour um, and performance that we wanted to see happening in the space. The end result sees the roadway painted a deeply rich red in an undulating, wavy pattern. Before there really is a space that maybe doesn't feel inviting and it didn't feel uh, welcoming, it didn't feel like a people space, it really felt like a service space. I think now just with the, um, the changes that we've made, it really does invite people to come in and to connect with the alley and make it feel like a people space. Yeah, the lights are really bright actually, I can kind of see them. Really? I was eager to connect with the alley myself, so Alex guided me under Field's grid of lights to check it out and to play. It starts like as a little, like a square dot on the ground. Right. And then when you put your hand or your foot, it becomes kind of like a, a circle. And the higher you go, the lower, the bigger the circle is. So it gets to be up to like, you know, like four feet or five feet in diameter. Each light has a lighter sensor this allows it to detect the distance and speed of the object beneath and change the light's color and size accordingly. This information is also sent to a computer which plays a companion piece of music. Accuri Alley's transformation was commissioned by the Downtown Vancouver Business Improvement Association. Charles Gauthier is president and CEO. We've seen examples in other cities around the world where their laneways are much better utilized than what we currently experience in the city of Vancouver. It's just amazing to watch adults and, and young adults uh, uh, play uh, in a laneway that was previously used as a service corridor. It's going to give people uh, inspiration for what else we could be doing to enhance public space, to uh, encourage arts and culture and performance and um, just people connecting with each other in, in different types of spaces. You work so long for, on a piece and then it takes, you just let it uh, take its course and then when other people interact with it and, and play with it, it's just really rewarding to know that, you know, we, we did this project together and now other people get to enjoy it. Ackery's Alley definitely looks and sounds like a cool place. And although it wasn't designed specifically for people with vision loss, the artists and everyone involved are very interested in accessibility. There's something for everyone to enjoy regardless of your level of vision.
If you're in the Vancouver area, go check out Ackery's Alley, located between the Orpheum Theatre buildings. Then play around for a bit or just wait for a car to go through and the magic will happen. 